we are now going to practice doing equilibrium calculations. And these are done when we're at equilibrium. So there should be a statement of something that we're at equilibrium. We need to set up our equilibrium expression and then solve for our missing variable. And it's either going to be the equilibrium constant or one of the concentrations or pressures. So um, our first problem here over the hydrogen, over the fluorine. We put in all the concentrations that we have, we run it through our calculator and we end up with 1.0 times 10 minus three, 10 minus 13. Uh, and as an equilibrium constant, it has no units. So we're not, we're not trying to follow the units through these calculations. And um, we have 10 minus seven, 10 minus seven. This should give us, oops, that should be a positive. Uh, that should give us um, the 10 minus 14 down here will give us a 10 to the positive 14 up here. This makes it a little bit smaller. So it's a 10 to the positive 13 on this answer. On the next one, uh, this one um, is a little bit of a tricky one. So we're given a, the reaction, uh, solid manganese sulfate is uh, decomposing to form manganese oxide plus sulfur trioxide gas. We're given the moles of each one that are inside a 0.75 liter container at equilibrium. So we set up our equilibrium expression and this is where it's tricky of course because the solids disappear from the equation. So we're only gonna have our gas sulfur trioxide show up as a product I stuck in a one for the manganese oxide, one for the manganese sulfate, and of course they disappear. We're just left with this. So our tendency might be to go and try to calculate the molarity of these two and use them, but we don't use them in this problem. So once we have this, we just have to calculate the molarity. So we do our moles divided by our liters. That gives us a 0 0.10. And again, as an equilibrium constant, it has no units. So we're not worried about uh, making those units Makes sense. Let me switch boards and do a couple more. And is that centered? Yes. Okay, so this one, uh, nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia. We're given the case C.16. Given the molarity of nitrogen 0.27, molarity of hydrogen 0.52, we're looking for the molarity of the ammonia. So we set up our expression, the product ammonia squared divided by nitrogen divided by hydrogen cubed. And we're looking for ammonia. So we could put our numbers in here and then reduce it down, solve for ammonia. I like rearranging first. Uh, so I solve for the ammonia. So we're multiplying these two across so we get to the equilibrium constant, nitrogen, hydrogen, all multiply it together. And we do the square root to get the ammonia all by itself. So I did this first, now I'm stuck in the numbers, ran through the calculator and I get a 0 0.078. And uh, we're looking for concentration. Uh, we know we're dealing with molarity, so it'll come out in molarity. We're not going to be able to follow units from the actual calculation. We just know that we're putting molarity in here. We're using KC, so we're going to get molarity out for our answer. Okay, so one more of these. Um, hydrogen plus iodine gives two hydrogen iodide. In this case, we're given the Kp. Uh, we specify the temperature, but we're not going to use the temperature. Uh, we have our 0.15 atmospheres for hydrogen, 0.55 atmospheres for the hydrogen iodide. So we're looking for the pressure of the iodine. So we set up our expression, Kp is the pressure of hydrogen iodide squared divided by the pressure of hydrogen and the pressure of iodine. And again, I just like to solve for these 
uh, first. You probably put the numbers in, you put the numbers in, and then solve it. Does not matter. So I uh, solve for the iodine, you multiply the iodine across, divide the Kp across. So pressure of iodine will be the pressure of Hi squared divided by the pressure of hydrogen and Kp. So we put in our numbers, um, our Hi 0.55, our H2 is 0.15, and Kp. Run this throughout the catheter, we get 0.037. And again, we're not going to get our units from this calculation here, but we know that we're using Kp and atmospheres for our other things, so our pressure is going to come out in atmospheres. 